And it's gotta be It's not something one considers when balancing the universe. But yes, that does bring a smile to my face. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to yet another episode of the Color Commentary, where we give you views from a different side. We are so excited, man. Come April 27th, one week before it was going to come, is the most excited movie that I, the movie that I've been most excited about, more excited about than any other movie that has that's ever been, ever. I, I can't wait for Infinity War to come out. I know you guys can't wait for Infinity War to come out. I know the Color Commentary crew can't wait for Infinity War to come out. And normally we do reviews, but we just can't can't stop talking about this movie. You can even see it. Even Thanos is waving his head around. He's excited about this movie. Look how clean Thanos' teeth are. I mean, what type of whitening products is he using over there, dude? Like, he's got, I mean, it's just crazy. You know, whitening products, they, they uh, damage your teeth, though, Thanos. So, you know, don't get hit in the face by the Hulk because teeth might crumble. Anyway, but you can use the Time Stone to rebuild them. We just can't stop, stop talking about this movie. So what we're going to do this time, instead of doing a review, is we're going to talk about our theories about what's going to happen with this movie. Let's go ahead and bring on the color commentary crew, first of all. Danny, how you doing today, man? Tell them who you are. You know who it is. It's your boy, Danny J. Quick. Yo, man, I'm excited, son. I'm, I'm so ready. I'm so ready. We got, what, four days before the movie comes out? Or oh, uh, I'm ready. Let's, let's do it, bro. I got so many theories. Uh, so many people gonna die. I'm I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> and over there waving Thanos around, uh, Mr. Charlie T. Taylor, Charlie T. Taylor, Charlie P. Taylor, C. P. Taylor. What's going on there, sir? What's up, guys? What's up, guys? It's almost here. This dude is killing everybody. We <laughs> we'll get your, get your whites, get your your, your Kleenexes. It's going down. But, you know, it's Charlie Taylor with KFH Party Easy. We're going to have the best party in town. So, you no, know, if you're in, in the Cary, Raleigh-Durham area, come out and join us. I'll put the links in below. Let's go. Now, Charlie, you said get your wipes. I thought you were about to say get your wife, get your kids, get your husband, too, because they're <laughs> killing everybody up in here. <laughs> oh, God, so he's bringing it back, awesome. boy. Shout out to Antoine Dotson there. And uh, real quick, Charlie, I see that you weren't repping your Iron Man helmet over there. And uh, of course, we do. We did get a, a comp you did get a compliment uh, from one of our fans. Uh, we like him very much. Uh, Corpulent Greek and his great wife. They have a great YouTube show. We want to give them a shout out. And to all of our fans, uh, we definitely give all you guys uh, shout outs. I am here rocking my popcorn here. Boom. Yes, sir. <laughs> and usual, I got Loki. Right here, and uh, Daddy thinks he's gonna uh, some. So it's not gonna go well, so I guess we'll see. Daddy, <laughs> where the heck is the Soul Stone, bro? Where's the Soul Stone, man? We need to know where is I it. The whole movie is gonna be about where is the Soul Stone, like because we've seen all the rest of them. Um, I don't think it's in Wakanda, even though I'm repping my, you know, my Wakandan print. I don't think it's in Wakanda. I think the whole movie is going to be leading. Thanos is going to get all the other five gems, and then they're going to have to stop him from getting that sixth gem so that he doesn't wipe out half the population. They've been talking about him um, killing half of, if, if you saw the special, the um, one they released this earlier this week, they were talking about him um, going from place to place and wiping out half the population. So I think he's going to get all the rest of them. He's going to get all of them in there. And then they're going to try to get to wherever the soul stone is to stop them from getting it. And um, they're not going to succeed. It's just not going to happen. So. <laughs> but, but where is it, though? Where is it, though? It's got to be like, got to be somewhere on some other planet or in somebody like it's probably it's like probably on Gamora's planet. It's probably got something to do with the Guardians. I think 
as go, the Guardians have that whole thing, they're going to be their their job is to figure out where the Soul Stone is and get there before Nanos does. Maybe. All right. What about you, Charlie? Where's the Soul Stone, man? Where the heck is this thing, bro? Where is the Soul Stone? I don't know. Where the we Soul waited Stone ten years for this thing. <laughs> where is the Soul Stone? But um. I'm thinking, to me, I think, spoiler, I guess, if this actually does happen. But my one of my theories is that when they, uh, they're they going to kind of take control of uh, Doctor Strange, they're going to use him to manipulate everybody. And I think he I think he may know where it is in some, like, realm or dimension that only certain people can get to to unlock it. I'm thinking, I'm thinking he might have it's, – it's got to be somewhere else. It can't be on Earth. I don't think it's in Wakanda. Uh, I don't think it's in Cap as some people thought. I don't know why they thought that, but uh, <laughs> you know, I, I think it's I think it's gonna have some other realm or dimension that maybe if you get all the stones, something open so you can actually get to the last one. Maybe some type of you know tie-in like that. Like he has all the stones, he can actually get to the Soul Stone. I, without all of them, you can't find the Soul Stone. I don't know. So that's kind of my theory. I think some Doctor Strange is gonna have to do something with dimensions and teleportation and something like that and just, we're gonna find the soul song that way you know i'm just thinking by the way i'm rashad everybody you guys didn't know my beautiful face i mean you should automatically recognize any face that beautiful has got to be rashad immediately with the fruits with the smooth new haircut so uh yes thank you round of applause i think that um you know we talked for a long time about or the people talked about heimdall being the soul stone right and um also, it's like some letters that all work out. It's like, God, I can't remember what it was anymore, but it's like if you take the H from Heimdall and the, I think the A from Amulet, you know, and then Tesseract and, oh, Thanos, it spells Thanos. And every single one of those has been right, except the H so far. So if it's not Heimdall, it, 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 it doesn't make sense anymore for it to be Heimdall. I mean, we don't care about Heimdall enough in the realm of things. Like, if it had been in Thor Ragnarok and Heimdall had had the Infinity Stone, that would have made perfect sense. And maybe he will have it. Maybe they'll just crush him at the beginning. But I feel like <laughs> it's going to be that same yes. type of thing. What are you laughing at? Because I burp. Nobody heard No, that. I'm laughing at Heimdall and, and them Asgardians getting killed at the beginning of that movie. Sorry. Sorry, you Loki fans. People. You would laugh. You would laugh at people dying. You have a sick sense of humor, sir. I know, I do. You, I laugh. You thought a quiet. <laughs> you thought a quiet place was a comedy. <laughs> <laughs> I I think it's gonna be something like that though. Like like a person will be the soul stone. Like maybe it's Gamora. Maybe Gamora is the soul stone. You know what I mean? Because that would be the only person. Gamora and Nebula. That would be the only per people that. Thanos would care about enough for them to, you know, actually killing them to get the Soul Stone. You know what I mean? How about this? Speaking of uh, people dying, where who's going to die? Danny, who's going to die, man? Well, let me come out of my shirt real quick so I can tell you. Hold on. Let me take this off. I'm already ready. See, RIP Loki. RIP Loki. I think Loki going to get it early. You Loki? Early in the movie, he gonna uh, as soon as that ship show up, uh, he he failed Thanos already earlier in the first Avengers, and you know, Loki missed dying in that uh, in that uh, what what movie did he die in? Was it the uh, Thor two? That he was supposed yeah, to die Thor in? the Dark World. <laughs> I think he actually gonna die this time. And the bad thing about it is, is I like I like Loki now. Like I'm I'm to the point where I've gotten used to Loki. And I'm actually going to be hurt to see him go. You know, you see, I got uh, um, Black Panther and Captain America here, uh, Iron Man and the Hulk. I think uh, most of them going to die, too. Uh, Cap going to die. <laughs> <laughs> Cap going to die. Iron Man going to die. Hulk probably won't die. Um, that's This is actually Killmonger. That's actually. No, this is uh, Black Panther. He's not going to die. This no. is one that we know isn't going to die. See, we got the Black Panther ring on. Um, Bat Jeepster hooked me up with that. But um, all the black people are safe. Uh, Falcon ain't going to die. Hold up. 
wait, 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 one second. What? That statement. Wow. <laughs> How far have we come? Lift every voice and sing till earth and heaven ring. Ring with the harmonies. All the black people are saved. This is like the first movie ever that we could say that about. <laughs> first time ever. They might even play the Black National Anthem as the closing, closing theme of the movie. Uh, oh boy. Sure is not going to die. We know uh, Black Panther not going to die. His movie made too much money. Uh, Anthony Mackey's Falcon. He's, uh, he's a, uh, his salary is too low. They can keep him around for enough movies with just on his low salary. And then on uh, the War Machine. <laughs> War Machine ain't going to die because he didn't die in the last movie. I know they're not going to kill them after they, you know, they don't rehabilitated them. So all right. the rest of the characters, I'm sorry, y'all can get it, but that's who's gonna live, I can tell you that. What do you think? Who do you think <laughs> about? Is, is Charlie still there? You, did we lose Charlie? I can't see us. Charlie can't see I'm picture. here. I'm here. Charlie got wrecked by the we can hear you we can't see you but go ahead i know charlie. i'm waiting for you to go i'm waiting for you to call on me oh uh charlie you have been called on last one my boy right there getting it. You saw him on the you saw him on the trailer. He was trying. <laughs> he was trying to hold that hand. It, the, the hand's gonna kill him. You see this shield? <laughs> you see how much this shield's been through? It's breaking. It's broken. That's that that's our boy. That, that's that's my boy right here. He's gone. First Rest in peace. Rest in peace. We love you. Don't ever be the human torch again. But we love you as Captain America. <laughs> <laughs> Bob made those movies, Cap. We love you, man. But you're gonna die. Yes, Cap is gonna die, everybody, and everybody knows it. So if everybody knows he's gonna die, he's probably not gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> he's probably gonna be the person that I love the most. You know him as Iron Man, my 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 awesome, cool guy. I've been rolling with ten years now. Robert Downey. I know you're gonna be on the second movie, but you probably gonna you may die on this one. And they may just have you playing like I don't know, back in time, like the oldies. Like I don't know how they're gonna have him in the next movie, but he, I got a feeling he might actually go. You know more, more in here. He's gonna be gone. So I'm scared. I'm very scared for this movie. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about it. This movie is the same age as my daughter. So by the time I really became a man, I was watching this Iron Man and I'm scared he's gonna die. So I'm I'm pledging, you know, tonight as for Iron Man and Cap. Mostly Iron Man. I got my blue jumpsuit so I can turn into my edge armor. And you know, <laughs> back there. But you see my boy Thanos, he ain't playing no games. And he's probably gonna kill a couple people. So I know I Captain Iron Man. I love you, man. I love you. Now War, <laughs> War Machine War Machine needs to die. And the reason I think the War Machine needs to die is because I need I need Tony I need Tony and War Machine. Well, let me I don't want Tony to die. But <laughs> if War Machine like if Thanos like comes through like War Machine's chest or something, just like in the comics. In uh, the uh, Civil War Two, you know, and then like, you know, uh, Iron Man just goes like kind of like rage Iron Man, mm -hmm. and kind of throws everything at Thanos and still gets like destroyed. I mean, it's like it's going to bring tears to our eyes. Like he's just holding his friend's hand. You know, the music is gonna come in. The violin is gonna be playing, and you know, I don't know. I just I just got the feeling that's gonna happen. And then, then Tony's gonna die, and then, then wow. Spider Man. Is gonna go hold Tony, or gonna help Tony or something, and he might 
he might get it a little bit. I don't think he's going to die, but he's going to be messed up. Somebody out there, Guardians of the Galaxy, going to die, and they ain't Groot, because Groot already done died once. So, somebody on Guardians of the Galaxy needs... Oh, but what's the... Uh, what's the big dude? Drax. Oh, Drax. Drax is oh, yeah. gone. Drax is gone. He is getting yeah. destroyed. I saw his... When he wanted to go fight Thanos on that uh, little clip that they let slip, he was going to go fight him at... Um, what's the guy that has all the uh, trophies? Of animals and has the other things. Collector. The collector. Yes. He was gonna go fight Thanos with some knives at the collector's place. Yeah, he he ain't making it out of that scene. He's gone. <laughs> so, <laughs> those are my predictions. I love. I'm sad and I'm scared, but that's I, so I think it's gonna go. I know Cap is gone. I think Iron Man. He may he might limp into the fourth movie, but after that fourth movie, gone. I think it's the other way around. I think that um, Iron Man has got to go at some point. You got to go. You got to send them off with something strong. So, how do I say goodbye? Y'all back me up to the good. I can't remember the rest song though. I think I, Iron Man. Is, that's hard. Let me pull it up on Google real quick. <laughs> we could we could probably sing that, but I don't think it would sync up right. <laughs> like, we come in late and stuff like oh that was cute of us. Yeah, y'all was y'all was fifteen minutes off. So anyway, I think that Thanos is gonna be the I mean, I think that Iron Man's gonna be the one to die. I think I think that's it for him. He's gotta come out strong, he's gotta happen. I think that Cap might make it to the fourth movie, but that's definitely the end for him. Maybe Cap dies and he comes back as a flashback in the fourth movie, you know, time travel or something like that. He might make some other type of like double sacrifice or something like that. But definitely like Iron Man is it's is a done deal sacrifice. I think you I think you're right that Drax will die because somebody more in the um uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, they got to catch it. It could be Gamora, but I don't think she's going to catch it like in the long run. You know what I mean? Like if, if she dies, they'll bring her back. Dr Groot, nah. Rocket, man. If they kill Rocket, hold up, bro. Hold up. They can't kill Rocket. Rocket ain't been on nobody's list. You know what I'm saying? He ain't been on a single list, bro. Let me tell you, man, this movie, you can't kill a raccoon. <laughs> I mean, you know how many little kids be in there crying? Like, I'm saying you can't kill a recruit. Like he's got to be off the list. Like you can't, you can't kill Rocket. You can kill Spider Man and not kill Rocket. I mean, nah. hey, bro. <laughs> um. So yeah, Iron Man, um, Drax, and I think that Spider Man is going to die. However, I think that the way it's going to happen is because Doctor Strange has the time stone. He he's going to be able to bring him back. That's why Ebony Maul has to get control of Doctor Strange. So because if he uses the time stone, that's it's it's a, it's a wrap. He's already fought Dormammu. He's feeling like big and bad. He ain't worried about no Thanos. But Ebony Maw come in and take control of his mind, then that's a that's a wrap. But I think Spider Man's gonna die first and be reincarnated. So that's that there. Yeah, reincarnated. Um, mm -mm. Bring come back. He's gonna come back. You know what I mean? He's gonna he's gonna <laughs> Agent Coulson. He gonna be a butterfly. <laughs> 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 right, butterfly man. Right. <laughs> How is this movie, Danny? How is this movie going to end? Oh man, I think it's going to end just like it did in the comics. But Thanos getting the Soul Stone, snapping his fingers, and then we just have to figure out like for the next. When does part two come out? Is it next year? We next, year. next year. Wait till next year to figure out who died and who lived. Like I really think that they're gonna. Besides the people who definitely get it in the movie. Thanos is gonna get get the um, Soul Stone, and he's gonna be able to find everybody he wants to kill, and he's gonna snap his fingers, and we're just gonna have to wait for a whole other year to see who actually made it. But that's that's also weird too, because you know there's an Ant Man and the Wasp coming out, and um, it, um what's the other movie that's coming out before Infinity War two? Um, this uh oh Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel coming out. <laughs> right. So, yeah, but that's a prequel. I get it, and that's a prequel. Oh, yeah. That's a prequel. That's the 90s, right. That that I'm not that. That's tough because that's what I think is gonna happen. I think he's gonna 
achieve his goal and wipe out half the population. But there might be, um, I heard there's not going to be a post credit scene on this movie. But uh, we might see. Uh, Are you serious? Um, has some has some powers, you know, connected to that uh, to the to the mind gem or to to the um, ether, and her and Doctor Strange like block it somehow to you know give us a fighting chance or give, give us. I'm talking like I'm part of the Avengers. Give <laughs> give them a fighting. Chance. Huh? I can't take it, man. I can't take it. I cannot take it. When is this coming? Oh my God. <gasps> I'm ready. Oh my God. I want to know what happens so bad. <laughs> I've never been so excited about a movie, dog. I don't know. God. Oh. Charlie, how, how's the movie going to end? <laughs> you know what? I don't know. But I have a theory. And my theory is based on finding out that Doctor Strange was the only person that got to read the script. So I think Doctor Wait. Strange. Oh. Yeah. Are you about to get spoilers? Huh? No Are spoilers. You about to get spoilers? This, is theory. this is theory. Okay, all right. Okay, I don't there's nothing. They they keep this on a lock and key. I don't think nobody knows anything about this movie. <laughs> but he was the only person that got to read the whole full script. And I don't I think that makes. I think that means he's gonna have a big thing at the end of the movie. If he read the whole script, not just his part. So he needs okay. to. He needs to. I'm thinking like it's gonna be some great battle. Like we see, some people are gonna die. Somehow Thanos will get the the stones, and he may. He. I don't know if he's gonna do the snap the finger thing, but he's gonna look like he's about to win. And somehow Doctor Strange is going to get get that time stone back, and maybe like teleport real quick, and then it like goes off, or some something like some catchy thing like 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 uh like come some of the Star Wars movies like when they finally they get the little piece, they get away from like the big battle, and then they go they're able to escape, but you don't know if they're actually going to succeed in the next movie. So it's kind of like leaves you like oh jump he got the time stone so he can bring people back and go back in time. So that might save some more people, but then we don't know who's left, and you know, what's, it's kind of going to leave us in a big, get big loop. I think everybody's just going to stare at the screen afterwards and just like look at each other, like, what just happened? <laughs> Everybody what will be sitting happened? in the theater. Like, Is that that's all? That's it? What just happened? What just happened? <laughs> it's going to mess up the timing <laughs> of my party because every all my guests will be in the theater, just be like, what happened? <laughs> right. <laughs> What happened, well, guys? We gotta go bowl. We got an arcade coming on. Let's let's go. What happened? It's all everybody's gonna be looking at each other. What happened? It's like can we watch this again. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that's that's kind of my theory. I think some effort's gonna happen at the end. Just gonna leave us like with our jaws dropped and just th so thirsty for the next movie. Oh man, they can't make us more thirsty, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but dry up. <laughs> I'm a. <laughs> Uh, Decomposers. Oh boy. Okay. Um, what are we asking? <laughs> Who? How's this movie going to end? I think. Yeah, I think Thanos is going to snap. I think it's going to. You know, he's gonna raise his hand up to snap, and then he's going to snap again, and then the music going to drop. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> And uh, Star, Star Lord is gonna get in there. It's like dance battle, bro. And it's like uh, I smashed your dance battle too. You know, <laughs> I'm a, he don't he don't get the old school crunk music with the lean with it pop with it. Like, right, exactly. Oh! <laughs> Destroy your universe. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> but I, I'm not gonna say nothing different to you guys. I think it's gonna end with the snap. But, but because that's what we're all thinking. It's probably not going to end that way because it doesn't matter. Like Civil War is a prime example. Like it's it's Civil War in name only, and the fact that Captain America and Iron Man are involved. Other than that, they really didn't follow. They fill up. They followed the ideas of it, but they didn't follow how it laid out at all. So mm -hmm. we don't have any idea what's going to happen. So I don't know, man. What, um, Danny? What do you want to see happen? I just want the only thing that I want from this movie really is to have to watch it again. Like I want 
something to happen <laughs> like with um with so when civil when the Russo brothers did Civil War, they got me so good with that twist with um the misdirection with um Bucky killing Iron Man's parents. I had oh, that to, was good. <laughs> I had to go back to the theater two more times to watch the movie because I was so they got me so good. So the only thing that I really want from this movie is to go and something happened in the movie that I'm like, oh my goodness. I I have to watch it from the beginning so I can make sure now watch it with different eyes. That's really all that I want. Other than that, they can kill every character except for Black Panther and I'll be fine. Um, <laughs> honestly, after this, I don't I don't know if I need to watch any more Marvel movies after I get this one and Infinity War 2. I I think I'm good. I'm straight. Too. If you you listen to what Charlie talking about, they gonna get us hype for f movie four. We gonna be like, oh my god, I, I, I gotta know what happens now. <laughs> and, and don't forget, they about to get X Men and Fantastic Four, so you know, oh, god, you know that, come on. that's coming on. They're about to bring something out to get everybody like this turned all the way up with the uh, you know with this Marvel so, next ten years. Wouldn't it, be, wouldn't it be crazy if they've already done that deal and like? They've already put it in the movie, like Storm shows up in it or something like that, or Professor X shows up. That just would be crazy. That would mm. be crazy. People are like just crying with it. I was like, oh, my God. 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 The nerds and blurbs would be crazy. Professor X is going to show up just like um, Superman did it at the end of Justice League. He'd be like, is this guy bothering you? <laughs> is, is, he, is he bothering you? <laughs> Charlie, what do you want to see happen, man? I guess one thing that I really has to happen on this movie that they built this dude up for 10 years. Well, I don't know 10 years. They built him up for like seven years. Thanos better be mm. the best villain I've ever seen in a superhero movie. Like, I better be able to see his point of view. I better be able to see his terror, I, I, the crazy. I need to see all of it. Like, I don't want to just be like, you know, he's just a bad guy. And he's, <laughs> what do you have on your head? <laughs> but this dude right here, that dude, that massive dude, y'all see him up there? He's on the floor. And I, I come to like his chest. Really? But, uh, yes. If I stand up and stand beside, like, Cap and them are on the floor and they're taller than me. Wow. He's like at the top of my ceiling. The dude is ginormous. Wow. Like, maybe if he gets back there. You see how big he is? Look, look at the head. That's crazy. <laughs> yes, he is huge. So he better bring it. I better be like this guy like was epic. He needs an Oscar for this performance type of guy. Like, I wanna see that. So I don't see it happening. I don't see it happening. Hmm? I don't think. Is it happening? I don't. I don't think there's any way that I could agree that I could walk out the theater like maybe half the world deserves to die. <laughs> <laughs> maybe Thanos was right. <laughs> but I guess I don't want to say like I have to. I have to uh, no agree with him, but maybe I can like I like I sense like okay, this dude really means business like. He really, like, he really truly believes he is correct. Mm -hmm. Like, there's nothing, uh -huh. it, I mean, I don't, I don't think somebody told him this, and he just act, no. In his soul, he believes that he is doing the right thing. And I think that's what right. they're going to do with him, and that's what's going to really just set him apart. Because I think that's kind of what the, on, um, what was it, Batman, was it Batman Returns? What's the second one? Dark Knight? The, with the Dark Joker. Knight, right. Yeah, it was like, you could just, like, the way the Joker was, you could just kind of understand how well you saw how crazy he was, but then you could just see what he was about, you know, yeah. throughout the movie, the way he acted. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh wow, this dude really believes what he's doing. Like this is <laughs> this is crazy. Like I'm nervous <laughs> to even watch the movie. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Like this, please don't try to react, this dude. This dude is really crazy, kind of scaring me. So, uh, but uh, you know, that's 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 just my one thing that I want to see in this movie. <laughs> so you want to have that Joker experience? Yeah. That 
I, I don't know if that's possible. I mean, if they can pull that off, I mean, because the greatest two cinematic villains of all time are obviously Darth Vader and the Joker. And I think I think Darth Vader is he's just so menacing. And the fact that he'll be having a conversation with you while he's strangling somebody else from a whole other <laughs> ship <laughs> in front of you. On a whole nother ship. Somebody in yeah. getting help. Right, like I got it. What the heck? You know, and he has an iconic voice. But when it comes from the acting, I mean there's no there's never been anybody like Heath Ledger's Joker. So if we can get something like that, like if we come out and it's like, man, we love Tony Stark and and, and uh Chadwick Bozeman and all those guys, but darn, like God, my man paid the heck out of Thanos. Like that would be that would be awesome. Like I don't I don't know if that's possible. With so so much so much CGI and stuff. But if they spend a lot of time uh, talking about Thanos, that would be awesome. Because they've got plenty of time to talk about Thanos. Because they really don't have to spend much time talking about any of the characters at all. Because we know all these characters. We don't have to develop them at all. No. So we can just talk, develop Thanos. You know? Uh, as far as the things that I want to see... Okay, so there's one scene. Oh, man. Uh, props to Comic Story, man, for bringing this story to life. Um, the Infinity Gauntlet is the name of the story. And uh, Adam Warlock is in that. And he's like, what he does is he's like this character that's like the foil to Thanos. It's like he's the one that's going to rally all the heroes together and save everybody. And what's happening is like he sends the Earth superheroes in there basically to die. Like they're the pawns, you know, and they're the, come to fight Thanos. And he knows they're going to get wrecked. But what is so cool, he's got the Silver Surfer on it on his side. And we know that Silver Surfer is not in the Marvel Cinematic Universe at this time. But what he does is he and the Silver Surfer are like way back, like a million light years away. And it is so awesome. Silver Surfer is like, dude, let me get in there, man. Let me get in there and and and, and kill him and fight him, man. I can do this. And 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 well, it's like, no, I got a plan for you. Just sit tight. And the Earth superheroes are getting wrecked. I mean, he's slapping Hulk. Thanos is slapping Drax. I mean, it, I mean, he's smashing everybody. Cyclops is in it. He imprisoned Cyclops inside this this aquarium type of thing, and he can't breathe. And he's shooting his optic glass and can't get out. I mean, they're getting wrecked. And Silver Surfer is like, "Come on, let me get in there, man. Let me get in." And then finally, Cap stands up to Thanos. And you know what the heck is Cap gonna do? But Cap is like, you know, as long as long as I've got patriotism in my blood, <laughs> you know, you know, <laughs> and like. Thanos takes his glove, bro. Or I think I think he takes his glove, and he's like he's about to punch him. He's about to decimate him, and like Adam Warlock says to Silver Surfer, he says, "Go, like go with everything that you got." And like from a million light years away, Silver Surfer comes, boom, and he comes flying in, boy, and he's about to, you know, Thanos is about to smash Captain America, boy, and he's and the Silver Surfer's about to come from a million light years away and grab the gauntlet away, and he goes, psych. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, ah, ah. Oh, oh, God, just listening to the story is so awesome. So since we don't have Silver Surfer, like, it would be awesome if Spider-Man plays that role. Like, you know, in the scene where at, at the end of the trailer where you see Spider-Man jumping through all of this type of stuff, like, I can imagine, like, Iron Man or somebody said to Spider-Man, like, we'll, we'll keep him... No, Spider-Man's like, I'll go, I'll do it, I'll do it. He's like, no, stay back. And then... Right when he's about to smash somebody, he's like, go, Spider-Man, go. And Spider-Man's, you know, get through all this type of stuff to see if he can get to the gauntlet and get it off. If they have that in there, I would be, I would be awesome. That would be awesome. Um, two things. I want to see uh, props to Nando versus movies. There's another YouTube channel. He always has a lot of good theories. I would really like to see War Machine as a scroll. I would like to see that. It makes his watch Nando V movies and watch his explanation of that because we know the scroll invasion is coming. Watch that. I would love to see him find out that he gets wrecked. And then at the very end of the movie, we find out that he's a scroll. And lastly, <clears throat> Iron Man dies. And at the very end, maybe this movie, maybe the next, Shuri is looking at his red armor. And then it goes off. You know what I mean? Like, Mm -hmm. We want. I want to take her. You know, I want. I want her to take that role. So, that's it. That's all I got. What, Charlie? Do you have any other theories, man? What What else do you think? 
Yeah, have you heard anything else? No spoilers, guys. Like, if you know for real, like, don't say it. Like, I don't want to know about Peter Dinklage. I don't want to know about him. <laughs> <laughs> just have you, what theories do you have, man? I'm so excited about this movie. I just, I think, um, I kind of want to see what Vision and uh, Scarlet Witch are going to bring to this movie. Because I know the Mind Stone, and I guess, like you said, I can't say spoilers, but I think they're going to be able to. Well, dang, what can I say? I was wondering if maybe Vision is going to do something miraculous that's going to either get this, get the gauntlet off his hands. Like, basically, he's about to die. Maybe, like, he just, you know, how he can, like, go through people's body. Maybe he just, like, goes through them and gets the gauntlet off or something, and then Thanos kills him. Mm -hmm. And Scarlet Witch just goes, like, crazy psycho and, you know, starts taking out his uh, army. And then you know something else. I, I don't know. I just there's just so many people in this movie, so it's hard to tell like who's gonna make the the, the big sacrifice. Sorry, Cap is dying. Y'all ain't <laughs> telling me the Cap is gonna live. He already tried to die on the first Captain America when he jumped on the on the uh, the bomb and training. So he wanted to die anyway. He been wanting to die since he first got here. He was a little skinny dude. So Cap is getting. He been wanting to die since the beginning. <laughs> Yeah, ah. he was a little skinny dude. I just watched the, uh, the first um, first Captain America movie, First Avenger, and like the first chance of death he gets, he just jumps on the bomb. I'm like, yeah, the sacrifice, but bro, you just you ain't trying to run or nothing. Just I'm gonna take, I'm gonna jump over, the, jump on the bullet on the bomb, and let the other man go over me. No, that's I'm in Tony's Tony's corner with that one. I'll just defuse it. So. But that's, uh, yeah, that's, that's gonna be that's uh, kinda, that's kind of what I get. That's kind of what I get. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know what else. So much. What about you, Tori? Charlie, Charlie, that um, that's gonna be uh, uh, Captain America's last words. He's gonna be like, "I could do this all day." <laughs> 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 like, dang! I guess the day's over. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Tori. As long as it's not like some reality, some alternate reality, or some new like new fifty two flashpoint theory type thing, if that happens, I'm gonna be very upset. If it's all like playing out in Tony Stark's, you know, what is that thing that he made in um the the last? Oh, bro, you just <laughs> if that happens, I would be pissed <laughs> off. I'm so upset. <laughs> Wait, what? What happened? If this whole movie is just him playing out the like what could happen on this oh this, yeah yeah in Go this thing flash back to age of ultron <laughs> yeah like, if this whole thing is just him playing out the scenario on a computer or something like that and then at the end you find out okay thanos is really coming in the next movie i'm gonna be very upset like I'm gonna be very <laughs> very upset <laughs> but as long as that doesn't happen i'm cool i think uh I think it's gonna be good though. If the the Russo brothers have not let me down, I used to be a big fan of Community. They they um that show was one of my favorite shows at the time. They do some smart things with with writing and misdirection, so I'm excited. I think it's gonna be good. <clears throat> but do you have any other theories at all of anything else that might happen? No, um, I think I, I think Hella's gonna be in it. I don't think Hella's dead, so I think we'll see her and um. And maybe, maybe even search her again. Um, I think I, from the beginning, you know, because she was a um, mistress death and she was in the Thor Ragnarok. And, you know, I think she might play a role in the movie, but, you know, there hasn't been any, any leakage of, you know, videos of her online or anything like that on set. So I got nothing to support that. I just think, you know, that would make sense. So I don't know. All right. Charlie, you got any any other theories, man? I feel bad. I feel bad for all the S Guardians. <laughs> they just playing it, and they going. Bad. It's, I guess they've been alive too long, but they just getting a rough two movies back to back. So yeah. right. <laughs> yeah. Um, my only theories, man, is um, I just think I don't know if they're gonna introduce the squirrels this movie or the next one, but I know it's coming. And if they do it the way that I think they're going to do it, I think it's going to be so awesome because it's going to just weed from one thing to the next. I mean, because it's the best it's the best logical step because they've been building up this one guy for like seven years. 
So in the next big thing, what are you going to do? Make somebody bigger than him? Well, how about we not make somebody bigger than him? How about we go after a whole galaxy, well, a whole planet full of aliens, you know what I mean, that are invading and unlike the... Um, Whatever they call the the what do you call this mug from the first movie Chitari. Unlike the Chitari, which sounds like an old video game, you know, you bring in some characters like you don't you can't even know where they're coming from. You don't even know when they're attacking. Like they might be helping you to fight Thanos. Like some of these guys are scrolls, man. I think Black Widow is a scroll. Oh, I got I forgot who else is gonna die. Hawkeye's family is going to straight up get murdered. Like the whole family. His wife, it's horrible. Straight up a quiet place style. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Just come out of nowhere. Oh, and... <laughs> God, family's getting murdered. That's why they be keeping him so on the wraps because his role, I don't know if his role is going to be pivotal, pivotal, but it is going to be very different than what we've seen from him before. So That's I'm excited to see. Hawkeye's one of my favorites. Go ahead, Danny. Hawkeye's gonna be the Silver Surfer. He's gonna be holding up the, the boat, and he's gonna be like, "Let me shoot him! Let me shoot him! Let me shoot him!" <laughs> <laughs> then he's gonna let the boat go. But no, I was just thinking when you said that about the scrolls. One thing that they could do to make Thanos um, a good, like one of the top five villains, is that he's actually after the scrolls. Like his his you know mission is to wipe the scrolls out, and he found out that a bunch of them are on Earth. And he goes there to, you know, wipe them out. And the Avengers are like, well, we can't let you wipe out the rest of humanity with them. So we're right. about you. That might be a way to make Thanos relatable. Yeah. Yeah, because now the Avengers would be like, ain't no scrolls here. We we ain't got no scrolls. Scrolls. <laughs> we, we got, got scrolls. scrolls. We don't got scrolls. You like you like scrolls are like documents? Like stuff that's rolled up? <laughs> <laughs> you know, and that, that actually, Danny, would be really cool because that kind of harkens to what Galactus is all about. Like there was a story called Earth X and you find out that the, um, the Celestials, the way that they populate is they go from planet to planet and they put their eggs inside of the planets and then they modify the genes of the creatures that are on that planet. Thus, creating the Eternals, which Thanos is, and the Deviants, and also humans, which eventually turn into uh, mutants and inhumans in order to protect the planet. So Galactus comes in order to destroy planets, not just because he's hungry, he wants a snack, but also because he wants to destroy the Celestials. So it would be cool in that same type of way that maybe Thanos, his whole family got wrecked by the scrolls, and he didn't know. And, but you, maybe you don't find this out. Like you find out that his whole family got wrecked by somebody that they didn't see coming. And then he's on this mission. He's like, well, the only way to get rid of them is I just need to I just need to take out half the universe. That's just it. If I take out half of them, even if I don't get all of them, it'll wreck their their society enough that they won't be strong enough in order to put up a good fight. And that kind of goes along with what you said, Charlie. Like if you see that, you're like, hmm, I can see where you're coming from there. Like, I can see that. You know, maybe it wouldn't be bad, you know, to wreck half the universe. I'm just going to close my eyes and uh, see if I make it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Closing thoughts, Danny? No, nah, man, I'm just ready, man. Like, I might just sleep for the next three days and then <laughs> set might take a lot of Benadryl to sleep <laughs> Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Wake up Thursday and just go sit at the theater and wait for the movie to come on. Like I'm hyped right now, bro. Please, please watch when you wake up. Please watch because it's gonna be you yeah, know, smell horrible. Be very stinky at the theater. Like uh, very big diaper on. Like, what's that smell? What is that fragrance you are wearing? No, right. <laughs> you gonna you gonna be like, look, look, you ain't talking to me. I am Groot. <laughs> <He's still laughs> like, <laughs> oh, Charlie, you got any closing thoughts, man? Uh, oh, wait, wait. You didn't do your thing. Hang on. Daddy got to do his thing. He got to yeah, be man, let, me, let me give my outro. That's I all thought you me. were done. I appreciate y'all checking this out. Uh, if you, if you uh, enjoy the content, subscribe to Survive. Until next time, stay vigilant, my friends. What you think about it, Phil? Give me your closing shout outs. 
So we'll close this out. Man, I'm just so ready to see this movie. I don't watch every trailer, every every clip. I can watch over and over. I'll sit in bed just watch it on the phone. I'm just addicted to this. Man, I, I, can't, I can't wait to watch it. So I'll be there on Thursday. Of course, you know, I'll be there Friday because we're hosting the best party ever for this event. We'll have everybody there. we have Thanos. No, we're going to have Thanos. That Thanos. We'll have him there so y'all can take pictures with him. But, yeah, um, I'm ready to see this movie. I'm ready for the party. I'm excited. This week is probably going to go by really slow. I'm going to feel like oh, I'm in school. <laughs> like, you know how it is when you're in school and you want the week to end because, like, summer vacation or something. It's mm-hmm. Monday. It's going to be, like, three days. I'm like, hey, it's still Monday? <laughs> <laughs> So by the time by the time we get this video out, hopefully it'll be <laughs> hopefully it'll be like the next day we'll be able to go see the movie. So I'm just excited. But again, we don't have very many seats left. We might not have any seats left. But if we do, check us out at Catfish Party Easy. We're gonna be at Frank Center Bowl and Carry all night. We'll come out, watch the movie, VIP style, you're on private theater, a little popcorn and drinks, recline, dine and recline. And then enjoy a uh, night of, you know, just celebration with bowling. vendors and bowling and arcade and all lots of fun. So, and with the Kella commentary crew, most of us will be there and have a great time. So, hopefully we'll see you there. If not, see you next time, my friends. <laughs> Man, um, hey guys, I went and checked out the venue myself, and it's gonna be great, man. If you guys, anybody that went to the Black Panther thing, knows that KFH Party EZ knows how to do it like big, and this is gonna be even bigger than that. So, if you're in Durham or in Raleigh or in Jamaica, you need to make your way over to Cary in order to come see this thing because this event is gonna be quite awesome. Again. This has been Color Commentary. We appreciate you checking us out. We love all of our fans. Uh, shout out to, to Kyle, Mr. Kyle Livingston there. He's one of our very first uh, viewers. And I, I gave a shout out to Corporate uh, Geek already, man. And we got so many people that are subscribing. We're about to get to, to 100 subscribers, man. And woo, we're just so excited, man. So excited about this movie. We're so excited about you guys. And for those who are new, please check out our playlist in the um, description so you can see other videos. We've done A Quiet Place. We unfortunately did Pacific Rim. We kind of were happy, kind of not happy one. about doing Ready Player One. Ready Player one. And also... We, did. Oh, we lost Danny. <laughs> Wait, are you there? Is Danny... He's there or not there? Are you there or you're not there? There or you're not there? Woo! We started talking about... Um, Pacific Rim, he because it's because when we did the review of Pacific Rim, he wasn't there, so he has to not be there right now. We've done so many movies, man. Just check out everything that we got again. This is color commentary. Make sure that you subscribe to survive, and of course, we always give you views from a different side. Peace, and it's gotta be. <laughs> Peace. And it's gotta be Sentimental Project. Am I the only one on this thing? And it's gotta be Sentimental Project. <laughs> and it's gotta be Sentimental Project. That's the only thing that's soothing my soul. Turn on the TV to.